First, I would like to introduce Mr. Rodelio Vidal, our flute instructor. He's a graduate from the College of Music in UK Lineman. He took lessons under Professor Enrique Barcelona. He has joined several music towns in Manila and Japan. He has performed in several concerts with the UP Quintet as well as the Dr. Young Paul's trio. We're very happy to have him join our faculty. Mr. Rodelio. and a private music teacher in the city of Freeburg. She is also an instructor for flute and eurythmic and elementary education. She has been playing the cello for the last five years, although she has performed several times with the local orchestra. Her special preference for chamber music. She has also performed in private concerts here in Cebu. We feel very fortunate to have Esther join our SPSFI faculty even if it's only till December of this year. Her students in Freeburg are waiting for her. <laughs> As with our other speakers, she... <laughs> she, has given, she, she is satisfied giving her students her time and dedication and teaching them as much as she can in such a short time. Next, we have Mr. Roberto Del Rosario. Obed is not only a clarinetist. He plays all the other wind instruments except the flute. That's why we have him. He is also a conductor, arranger, and composer. He used to be the concertmaster and assistant conductor and arranger for the Philippine Army Band. As with Mr. Vidal, he has also performed in several concerts with the UK Quintet and Dr. Yanko's trio. Mr. Don Rosario comes from a family of musicians. In Hakuba Obed, as well as our other teachers, understand that they have become the pioneer teachers for the future members of Cebu's orchestral group. Mm -hmm. And the Sala Foundation appreciate the support of our vision and commitment. <laughs> Most of you know our violin instructor, Mr. Rodel Flores. Rodel spent five and a half years in Vienna under the tutelage of two very distinguished professors, Rainer Huckel of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra and Hertha Binder of the Vienna Music Academy. It was here that Rodel was able to join several concerts for the different orchestras during the concert tours around Europe. It was the Manila Symphony Society that granted him a scholarship to study in Vienna in 1984. After that, he joined the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra during its concert series in 1991. Rodel comes from Pangil, Laguna. He started playing the violin at the age of 14 and was under Professor Serios Milia at the College of Music in UP Diliman. He became the concert master of the Philippine of the Manila Symphony Orchestra from 1979 to 1984. While with MSO, he formed the MSO String Quartet which gave several concerts around Manila. In November 92, Dr. Francisco Feliciano invited him to join the music camp in Penang, Malaysia as a faculty member. He joined SPSFI in September of 92 and has since guided our students and scholars in four successful culminating activities in October and December of 92 and March and May of 93. We look forward to many more such performing events as this will form the basis of future and later orchestral groups. Mr. Rodel Florent. Now I give back the microphone. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. I think we proceed with the flute and clarinet lecture demonstration and mini concert. And that's really Susan again. And Rodel and Obed, we will have flute and carry on. It's bright and bird-like. Flutes of one kind or another have been formed in practically every civilization from ancient Mesopotamia in aid of wood or metal, but usually of silver. It is made of three sections. The main tube has a cylindrical bore and, 
and is closed at one end. The tube is pierced with a number of holes that are open or closed by means of keys. The player pulls the instrument horizontally and produces sound by blowing across an opening. That's called the embouchure near the closed end of the tube. The flute has a range of three octaves from middle C to an octave above high C. The tones of the first octave are produced naturally by blowing fairly softly while raising the fingers on the keys. The tones of the next octave are produced by overflowing and employing the same fingering. The tones of the third octave are produced by blowing still harder but using different fingerings. The lower tones are briefly and dense. But the high ones are clear, silvery, and penetrating. The instrument is very agile and a skilled player can readily produce rapid thrills runs Repeated notes through double and triple thumbing. The flute can almost can do almost any kind of passages possible to the violin. bands and orchestras. In orchestra, the flute is in the upper ranges of the harmonic man. It's in the natural counterpart of the double bass and the lower strings. Its grace and ornamental charm give to the upper harmony and atmosphere of azure light. The music for the flute is written in the G flat and sounds as written. Although much flute music flies high, the, fly, the player is accustomed to ledger line and prepares them to a too frequent resort to octave over the notes.